Now, remember, we have a mandate to cultivate, watch, and multiply. Let's say those words, cultivate, watch, and multiply. That is a mandate from God from the beginning when he, pl when he set boundaries in the earth, called the garden, and put man in it. You're to cultivate, you're to watch, and you're to multiply. Therefore, we have to have watchmen, we have to have workers, and we have to have people who know how to prosper. Somebody throw their hand up and say, I want to be in that group. Now. Now, you have to know harvest has a timing about it. It has a place. So we have to start seeing our place as fills. Now, I'm going to do this so you get used to this. John, you and Cheryl stand up. Your field isn't just New Jersey. It's the 13 colonies. But your field also can be sent because of your gifting, you can be sent because you're stewarding your fill to Taiwan to be used there to communicate from your field to that field. You see how all this works. Now, all of you who are in a, who, who work in the workplace, stand up right now. See, that is an incredible field. The thing I had to die to to do what I do today was the workplace field because I loved it. I loved it. I, I, I enjoyed everything about it. And I, I, the Lord prospered me in it. But, and I saw it then as a harvest field because I've been in this since I was 18. I started a Bible study there. It went from 3 to 60 to where the president the president of this huge oil company said, we're going to have to find you. I said, I can stop doing this if you want. He said, we'll find you a place to do it. Because he knew the benefits of that in his company. Now, right now, I thank God for all of you in this field. And I say, lift up your eyes and see in a way you have never seen before. Because you might see your way out of a job and into the prosperity of the field in a new way. Lord, I loose that in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Harvest has seeds, so you have to know, you have to find places seeds have been sown. You have to find places where they've been watered. And you have to find places where it's time to cultivate them. See, it's got a process, a multiplication process. Harvest has to have a mentality of multiplication. Now, this is the hardest thing, and this is what we're all going to stand up. Because from now on, I'm going to just impart as I go along. All of us stand up. Father, I decree right now any poverty spirit linked with religion, I command it to go in Jesus' name. And I say right now, a multiplication wind will start blowing through this area of your people, this kingdom group. They will find new ways to multiply. They will find new ways to increase. In Jesus' name, let's just shout and be seated. Amen. Now, see, so it's not just about uh, the, a wise man saves souls. Proverbs says that. But it's more than that. Harvest about you thinking in every place you are, how do I multiply? Now, we have got to get this back into the church. See, that's why the Word of God is built around Shabbat first fruits, and then the feast times because it's a cycle of harvest multiplication. The whole word is a cycle of harvest multiplication. So we've got to think like this. We have to know there is a war. 
a lot of the things you're getting into are linked with warfare. That's the, a simple way of understanding warfare is the word conflict. When you're in conflict, whether it be in your emotions or outward conflict, you have to say, "Uh, uh, okay now, I've got to know there might be some other invisible force that is working in this against me. That invisible force is trying to remove your harvest mentality. All right? Now, Also know right now the Lord is saying, you've got to know who labors among you, so I've got to raise up harvesters, and I've got to get them aligned so I can communicate with them. Now, I started doing that back in the 80s with Russia and with people in China, and then in the 90s we went into the prayer movement, and my role was to learn how to gather people. That's part of what you see we did this weekend. We had a gathering time where we gathered key people that are interested in the 13 colonies. So I have always had a role of building a network and a communication network for Harvest. That is why the Lord had me do the web church almost 16 years ago and got as much flack over that as anything I have ever done. And yet, last year, the only way we could worship is through the web church. So you you just have to smile and be as nice as possible and keep going. I don't know what else to tell you. John said that was a word for Tricia. (laughs) See? Do you see? I know. He's he's a pot stirrer. (laughs) Now, (laughs) we could tell you stories. (laughs) Well, that will be a weekend. But they might have to serve beer while we do that. (laughs) Now, anyway. So, now, what God showed me here in New Jersey was there were storehouses. Remember when he caught me up, he showed me these incredible, incredible, they looked like castles down in the ground. They weren't mega churches. They were meeting places, and uh, he showed me the Triumph Reserve. And when we would find these places, and they would get established. Now, Peter, this is important for you. When this would get established, uh, the glory realm that we were in would begin to go seven times brighter. So... After we dedicate this place today, it's going to start into a new glory realm to, of increase. Yeah. Now, and I'm going to show you through example how we connect. In, and again, those aren't mega churches. These are glory hubs. These are apostolic centers. They are freedom outposts. The, they're... Places that have been positioned by the Lord so we can gather into them and come out with a greater glory and revelation. That's why you had to get in a place. That was why we, I, see, I just was ahead of the game. After I saw the thing in New Jersey, I actually resigned from the prayer movement. And I knew that... I was going to have to get positioned because we were, we had, were renting 100,000 square feet in a Wood Hill Square in Denton. Some of you visited that place that we were at. But I knew that wasn't our place. So I knew the Lord was going to have to give me a place that was uh, more, uh, the foundation was planted. And I wasn't. 
I wasn't renting it from somebody, so to speak. And so I could start establishing a prototype of this center for glory.